Hi, it's Nick Jervis from Marketing for Solicitors, and today I want to talk to you about value-based fees, one of my favorite topics. Um, value-based fees are basically getting you to sell your services for a um, price which is good for you, uh, provides value for the client, but gives you much better opportunity to scale. So instead of saying, we'll charge an hourly rate of this much, and it might be this much in total, um, you give them a fixed price based on what the value is to them using your expertise to get the outcome they're looking to achieve. Uh, I've done it so many times um, and it works a treat. So one of my clients, who's also a friend, is a mortgage broker. Um, he was charging £250 for his specialist mortgage broker advice. And I said, look, the value you add, he gets people mortgages for buy to let uh, for landlords that, that no one else can access because he just knows the market better. He works harder to put their case together and he, he gets a result nearly every time. So people were coming to him because they knew they tried everything else. Um, so I explained that his fee wasn't proportionate to the value he's giving and got him to increase it. And over time, that's increased from 250 to uh, I think I get to 350 then 500 now 950 pounds um, and it's still I think way under value for for what he's doing he's allowing someone to buy a property which otherwise they wouldn't be able to access because he gets them all we still no one else can um, so with 10 transactions a month that's making him an additional 7,000 pounds a month or 84,000 pounds per year another client the law firm were offering a fixed price service and they'd always done it as fixed price service a very specialist niche um, at £350 when they started uh, and I got them up to £1,500 and again the value they were offering and that's the key thing the value has to be there for the client as well as them was massive um, and it was making them additional £8,000 a month £96,000 a year without any extra work that's the key thing so the, the thing I like about value-based fees is so long as the pricing is right for the client and for you it gives you the ability to scale it stops you having to worry about um, how much time you spend on a matter and if you get quicker at it because you know the shortcuts because you've been doing it for so long that's your value it's not about um, how many hours you're spending on it it's about the result the client wants and that's normally all the client wants is is an outcome um, the problem with um, hourly rates is that, that you just can't get to that outcome the focus is always on just doing the work um, it limits the ability for you to, to earn a certain amount it puts a ceiling on your income um, and all you can focus on is the time, not the results. And and the same way is a problem for your client because they, they can only sort of measure your performance in time. Um, if a client comes to me and, and says, you know, how how long do you spend on Google Ads? I say, it doesn't matter. Every client, is, it's whatever it takes to get the result um, because it's not about time. My clients want more clients and they want a return on investment. If I could deliver that, it took me one second. They wouldn't care as long as it produced results. It doesn't take a second, but the point is we're not focusing on time. We're focusing on outcomes. The client, if I say to a client, look, you're spending two grand a month all in, I expect you to make six grand. If I can get that up to 10 grand by optimizing their Google ads campaign, then 15, then 20, that's what we're after. And obviously I've accumulated that experience over many many years of doing Google Ads I think since 2008 um, so a long long time um, so you couldn't just copy what I do now which is why when I take over a Google Ads campaign from a competitor I can normally dramatically improve it because they don't know what I know about running Google Ads for law firms even if they claim to be specialists as so many do and they're not getting the results that my clients want so they come to me and I'm able to apply what I know about Google Ads and law firm websites to get them much better results um, so same thing for you. If you focus on hourly rate, that's the only way your client can measure you. It's the only way they can see what you're doing is to, to well, how much time you spent on it. Um, and then the converse problem is that they then worry about how much time you're spending on it. Every minute you spend on it, the time goes up, the bill goes up, um, and they know their bill's just going to get higher and higher. They don't want that. They would like a fixed price, um, and they would like an outcome. That's what they're after. Um, so how do you sell value-based fees? The most important thing is, as always, the first call is, is to have the meaningful conversation, uh, to find out what matters to client about this transaction, to find out where their pain is, where their concern is, what their fear is, um, and to get to the heart of, of you know, really what, what they're interested in. Um, it's never about the law. It's never about proving that, that you know what you're doing. It's more about finding out what matters to client and then explaining how you have helped someone just like them in the past to get a fantastic result. Um, and that result saved the client money, um, made them money, or saved them time, hassle, or stress. 
Um, so as soon as you find out what matters, client, you're able to say, oh, Mr. Jervis, I, I had someone just like you in exactly the same position, and I was able to achieve this outcome for them, this result for them. Would you like me to do the same for you? And it doesn't matter how you do it. They expect you to be able to do it uh, because that's what you're qualified in. You're a lawyer. They don't care how. They just want to know that you can do it and if you can do it for them. As I say there, whether you're B2B, business to business or business to consumer, it's exactly the same because you're dealing with people um, and it's the emotion that drives the tra transaction more than anything else. Um, despite whether you think, well, it's just prices. It's not. There's an emotional driver behind every transaction. Um, so what you have to do is, and it is your job to do this, and this is where I think most people struggle with it. You have to establish the value to them. You have to actually get them to work out what, how much better their life or business will be after this transaction. So is it going to be time saved? Is it going to be additional turnover or additional profits or just stress or pain saved? Um, and you really, if you can, it works best when you can get them to quantify how much this will, um, how much it will hurt them if they don't get your brilliant advice. Um, because once they spell that out, then they hear your fee, which is a tiny proportion of the saving. Um, that's when value-based fees are so easy to sell. Um, so you say so you have to get out there to them. Look, if if I'm going to make you an additional fifty thousand pounds to your business by showing you how to do it this way, what's that worth for you? What would you pay for that? Um, and I saw this. I've seen this in. in uh, sales training videos all the time if you can get someone to spell out the, the cost and then say so if I was going to save you 50,000 pounds what would you what would you pay me 20 30,000 pounds well actually my fee is only 5,000 pounds um, and I use the same in, in Google Ads so if I'm going to make you another 10,000 pounds a month how much would you pay me um, to, to get that additional 10,000 pounds a month and often a client will say well so I suppose four or five thousand pounds my fee is much less than that so um, it works so you've got to get them to, to attach this value to it. Um, in conveyancing, uh, as examples, if someone's buying their dream house, they've always wanted this house. It's got the perfect view. It's in the perfect location. It's attached to the perfect schools. Um, and perhaps there's your selling anchoring point. If it's got a perfect um, state school, what's that going to save them in private school fees? Two children, £10,000 a year minimum, £20,000 for five years. That's £100,000 saving. So... What would you pay to get your get your dream house, get your kids into this school? How much would you pay to save that hundred thousand pounds? Well, I might pay five thousand, six thousand. Okay, now your fee of two thousand looks very reasonable. Um, motoring offences is one of the ones I particularly like because if someone's risking losing their license, then you've got a very nice anchoring point, which is their salary. And if they're going to lose their license um, for speeding or whatever the offence is, and you can stop that happening. You very easily can say, okay, how much do you earn? What's it going to cost you to use your license for a year, three months, six months, three years? Okay, what would you pay to keep your license? Um, so uh, uh, the key thing is, you know, you've got to have value. So it's got to be value for the client and for you, but you need to make the client go through the process of realizing how much it will cost them if they do lose their license. Um, finally, uh, probate, how much of peace of mind? Someone's just lost someone. Look, if you like us to get, take care of everything, ensure you don't um, have any issues with probate, get probate quickly, get the estate settled quick, as quickly as you can. What's that worth to you? Um, so in all of these cases, you have to get the client to, to work out what the value is to them. Um, Value-based fees are a changing, a tipping point for many of my clients, and they rarely go back to hourly rates when they've got a service, which they know, they know the rough period of time it takes, they can work out what hourly rates would be then they can work out what the value is to the client. And usually the, the fixed rate um, is more than it would work out an average rate, but is value to the client, which is the key point. The client has that peace of mind. You can scale your business um, because you're not just worried about selling time. And therefore, if you make efficiencies to your processes, um, you get quicker um, and your expertise allows you to complete transactions quicker. Um, then obviously there's there's no limit on on how to scale your business. You can just keep on improving the processes as long as the value is there for the client as well. That's the key thing. So there's uh, my my thoughts on value based fees. Any questions, please pop them in the boxes below. Um, but it's definitely something I encourage all of my clients to test because it works very very well.